Hey guys, I'll have to film my tour video after the showing because I'm low on time, but I am here at the AMC Sugarloaf Mills in um, the Atlanta suburbs. I'm here for Barbenheimer, well at least the Barbie part. Uh, got my, my Dolby swag here for Dolby Cinema and I've got IMAX cup and, and bag here for uh, when I go to Oppenheimer and uh, super hype. So I'm in and this is like gonna be awesome. All right, sit for now. Given the location in the mall, the uh, exterior here of the the AMC Sugarloaf Mills is, is pretty unremarkable. They've got what just a sign that's the AMC on the outside, and really that's the only way that you would know that this is where in the mall it was located. But as we saw, inside it was very nice, very well put together. They've got this huge parking deck that actually honestly looks like it's not even open. Um, it's kind of interesting. I, I kind of meant to note, uh, and saw so Will, that the parking deck itself reminds me a lot of the one that uh, we saw at the defunct Richland Mall. Um, so, so it kind of makes me curious, kind of given that with that look of the building in general, if this may also be kind of one of those 1970s vintage um, created malls. Uh, though fortunately, as we saw, this one is surviving and and one could even say thriving, uh, whereas a lot of those older ones have gone defunct. This is my first Dolby Cinema Auditorium. It has a very large flat screen. Um, the movie that I watched was uh, 2 to 1 ratio, so it looked really great on it. Um, the seats here are actually kind of interesting. They're very similar to the ones that I have in my Prime. Um, possibly exactly the same, except I believe the coloration on the leather is a little bit darker than in Prime, but it could be a trick of the eyes because unlike Prime, which has all the yellow lighting, the Dolby has the blue, and you can see all the speakers there, up and about. I do like how the seats are arranged in the kind of semicircle in the bowl here. That's not something that I see a lot in auditoriums that I go in with recliners. The hallway out is also the kind of blue lighting and it's pretty long here. I'm sure a lot of people watching have seen Dolby Cinema plenty of times and are not as kind of interested in this, but it's new to me. Oh my gosh, apparently there's a lot of Barbies out here waiting for the next showing. Mine was pretty empty because I had to go to a 9 a.m. to make it to uh, Oppenheimer in time. All right. I'm gonna head down the hall. Oh, this must be where they had the standee. That's why. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Right. Look at that. Sorry. Excuse me, buddies. Oh, well, that's a great moment. Uh, so we'll continue down the hallway and give them some space. So it looks like they've got all these um, various wall... Uh, I don't know if painting is the right word, but art from, from various movies. It's kind of cool. Leading down to an exit. I don't know if there's an auditorium here that's not taken. It looks like this one might not be showing a film currently. Let's try. I'll never see them again. Oh, no. Okay. Spider Verse. Bye. Bye. He's going to give you the portal. You can jump wherever you want. Let's we'll see if we can find a different one that's empty. Currently. I can hear something playing in 15. Alright, well. It'd be nice if they had some. Wait. We're not gonna lose the kids in the other boat. Lucille must be with them. Are you listening to me? 
I don't even know what movie that is. All right, well, I'm gonna walk around some more and find an empty auditorium, but uh, we'll probably cut the video here. I'm having trouble finding one that's completely empty, so we'll have to settle for that. But basically, the um, main auditorium seem to have primarily just standard seating, but they're very nice. Nonetheless. We'll head back out towards the lobby, and I'll show all that off uh, here, and then um, that'll be pretty much it. Alright, uh, the lobby here is pretty nice. It's got appropriately gaudy carpet, like I feel like most of them do. It's got a big open area here. There's some quotes on the ground that I'll probably get a shot up before I completely finish out. Uh, but it's not really the good angle for them right now. Um, fully stocked MacGuffins. Uh, definitely nicer than the one at uh, my local AMC. Got the full long concession, the premier line, and the standard line for both of those. There are three Coke freestyle machines got a nice mobile pickup area. We don't really have room for that at mine, so you just kind of have to stand to the side. A couple standees. I don't know what's over here. Oh, there's, I missed this earlier when I came in. I guess I was rushing. They do have a very small arcade area and an elevator, which I am not really sure what that's for. Unless it's just for offices or something upstairs. Um, but Pac-Man, Bing Bag, Treasure Shop, Toy Stop. Yeah, just a couple of claw games mainly, besides the Pac-Man. I don't even see a, um, a change machine, so I guess that if you want to use it, that you've got to get it from concession or something. Prime placement for the Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I'm really surprised I haven't seen an Oppenheimer um, standee anywhere yeah. in here. I do think the little um, signs by the bathrooms are pretty cool. Well, it looks like the Barbies are still finishing up. <laughs> oh, that's so cute family restroom and that's pretty much it there's not a ton of in the way of I guess what you'd call amenities uh, here besides the just kind of the normal standard stuff but they have but, but it's a nice theater it's very big 18 screens um, I will say uh, something that I haven't mentioned is and you may have noticed when I, I peeked into the standard auditorium is that they do a fair number of uh, Spanish language and uh, English language I believe with Spanish subtitled shows here uh, that seems to be kind of a popular thing for the demographics here and uh, so, so I think that's really cool that that's available we don't have anything like that available in my city um, uh, I guess the last thing I'll show is up here, kind of around, they've got various movies. Ooh, make myself dizzy. And then I will bring it down here from this angle and we can see the quotes. It's just things like Show Me the Money, E.T. Phone Home. Honestly, things that I feel like you see in that uh, awful, now current, uh, regal quote ad, but uh, on the ground here. Oh, I, as I step out, I will switch around. They actually had a guy sitting at box here earlier, which was astounding to me. That is not something that you normally see. They've got the, both the regular and the A-list priority line. 
and an actual functioning box. They just have one guy there and I think that that's pretty cool they have it doing and then um, they actually even have a ticket taker on the inside uh, kind of in a prime position that can where everything comes together which is how my Regal used to do it and uh, some of the AMC's but now uh, the only AMC that's left they, they do it at the confluence of the hallways and then um, Regal just stations a guy by the front door which some people think is better, but I don't know. I kind of like the solid pathing that kind of keeps you in there. And I bet that it's good in a lo mall location like this for keeping people from kind of just filtering in and out unexpectedly. So on the outside, they have some of these oversized um, poster uh, holders. I always want to call these the bus size, but I don't really I don't really know if this is the bus size or if there's something in between. But they're pretty cool. We'll go to the other side before we cut it because we wanna um, definitely catch all of the Barbie variants, which it looks like there's about three of them over there. Got a little standing thing here. I was trying to see if it was possible that this may have been used in some method before. Yes. So this lady came up to me and she was telling me that she, she built the Barbie box we watched inside earlier. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I got some video. I don't know if I got a still picture, but I bet that was a lot of work. Yeah, it took 12 hours. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it, I, I saw like 20 girls over there taking pictures though, so they were so hyped, so you did a really good job. You did such a good job. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm unexpectedly back inside because I uh, finished talking to that lady for a while, uh, Courtney was her name. She was telling me all about how she made the box. Apparently, I guess they didn't get the, um, the, the normal official box, so... Um, some people contracted out for them to bring it here and so she said she made this and that she rents it out for the showings and that is a uh, full-on like wood and and not like cardboard or whatever and oh look at this she's got her little little thing on here oh goodness I, that's good that that way we can follow up and and check out her, her stuff in the future. I'm gonna step back so we can see it fully. It's very cool. All right, so here are the three Barbie posters. Now that I'm getting a chance to get back to them, oh, with Ruby Gilman in between, I'm pretty sure that's not playing anymore. It didn't. It didn't last very long. I don't know. They have 18 screens here, though. Maybe they could fit one in. There's all the Barbie variants and Mission Impossible. So anyway, what I was looking at here is like, this is confusing to me because it looks like it was something to hold the kiosks, but it's obviously not there anymore. Maybe maybe they had issues. I, I didn't see a single kiosk inside either. Um, so that's kind of weird. I've not seen anything like that. I'll have to I'll have to kind of get someone to give me some input there. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, I hate to see something like this disused where it could have been great. Maybe everyone just gets them on the app now. So, this is the Sugarloaf Mall that Donna, uh, my friend, was telling me that they had a, a, a FYE or, or whatever here. Um, I actually didn't even know that they still existed. K-pop, vinyl, oh, was this the... Oh yes, the new Speak Now Taylor's version. That's pretty cool. I haven't... 
Haven't seen that one in the wild yet. It just came out maybe a week or two ago. Anyone who knows me knows that I hate Funkos, but there's plenty of them for those that like them. A lot of CDs though. You don't really see that many CDs and like DVDs for sale at places anymore. Oh, good way you can get the um, the classic um, Carmen Electra's Fit to Strip. Ooh, the 4K Knives Out, that's actually pretty cool. She's out of my league sausage party. They got all kinds of stuff here if you're into the physical media. A persona, what is it, a diary or something? I don't even know. Map? This is Map of the Soul. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's like like a like a diary or planner or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I know nothing about this stuff. I don't really shop very much typically. But this is a cool store. I don't think I'm going to buy anything today though. I spent lots of money on this trip. Um, ooh, I do like that Guardians of the Galaxy shirt though. Probably not worth um, 15 or 19.99. Oh hey, there's the Barbie soundtrack. I will say if they have that on vinyl, I would consider it. Let's see. I don't think that that's out yet though. But the soundtrack was very good to the movie. Um, yeah, I don't see it yet. But maybe someday. Ooh, international chips. Huh. That's cool as well. Some sort of DBZ and other. Hatsune Miku sodas. Some sort of D and D regional Atlas cube. Hmm, I want I might get that for I actually might might cut this and get that for Luke. I think he would like it. Yeah, so I definitely actually bought stuff. I bought the D and D thing and for, so I got two of those for each boy. It's three dollars each. My goodness. And then I bought the Stranger Things VHS looking collection for myself, which I had not intended to buy, but I thought it to check out, and I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. You know me, I hate collectibles and chill until I decide I like one. Got a Dave and Buster's in here. I'm probably not going to extensively walk around it. It looks very similar to the one in, uh, in Columbia. I don't know what other kinds of shops they have. Formal dresses. Charlotte Russe, or however you say it. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I never go in malls. I think the last time I was in a mall was when I needed to get some shoes for Topher, and we wanted to go to like three. Have the ability to go to like three stores at one time. Kind of nice to just kind of take this in and that's like someday this will be classic oh they've got some some barbie apparel here lots of tie-ins with various different things oh they got an attack on titan shirt boys and i watched that together lots of stuff in the hot topic unfortunately hot topic's not very edgy anymore it's mostly just pop culture now Really, I wanted to walk down here, though. The FYE, um, the the checker lady, she was telling me that sometime when I'm in town that I need to go to Medieval Times. Now, I have been to a me Medieval Times before, but not this one. Uh, I saw the, the facade from the outside, but, um, but she was telling me that you could access it from inside the mall here, and I thought that that was pretty cool. 
and she was telling me they have they have everything. They have the full on horses and and the show and everything. It's been a long time since I went. I went. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think it was 2005 to the one in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which I do believe is still existent. I've never seen one inside of a mall before, though. That's pretty crazy. You can see just about everything from right here from the door. Scaling back. Looks like they used to actually sell tickets up here, but they've got that closed off and now just, um, do it normally. Let's see. We got shows 7:30 tonight if I wanted to, but I don't think I'll make it this time. Really, I don't. I don't think it's necessarily the thing for the friends that I'm visiting town with. Uh, sometime when I bring the boys. Wow, this is a big mall. It just keeps going. I think I might have made it to the food court. No, or maybe that's just an anti -ans. No, there's the food court. Burger King, Sparrow. Not sure if I want to eat here or if I want to wait. Oh, they have a carousel. It's not going currently, but there is an attendant up there, so maybe they just are needing some people to ride it. Taco Bell, Subway, Panda, Express, Hibachi, a Euro, and some the other stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. It continues so far onto the other side. I don't really know if I want to wander this entire mall with how large it is, but, um, kind of cool. Lots of people out here enjoying their Friday. It is summer. We got the Burger King. There you are. Um, some highlights from Sugarloaf Mills, located here in the suburbs of Atlanta. I think the address is in Lawrenceville. I uh, can't quite remember. There's so many of them, but that sounds about right to me. <clears throat> so I'm gonna head on out, try to figure out what I'm gonna get for lunch. Nothing. Nothing here super excited me. And uh, I'll have some more video today. Probably not on the same video, but uh, gonna visit the Regal Mall of Georgia. And uh, I'll probably also wander around the mall there a little bit as well. So that's pretty cool. Well, thank you for sticking around for this little bit of bonus content. You know that uh, it's always good to see kind of what's surrounding the theaters and I will say that this this mall looks like it's pretty healthy overall which means that the the AMC will probably be able to hold on for quite a while to come all right thanks for watching here's a shot of the medieval times from outside hey there's a lot of um like daycare things here so I bet I bet it looked open even though they don't normally do a day show because they're probably doing like a field trip show or something like that for 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 kids oh that's a lot of daycares yeah so that explains why it looked all functioning when there wasn't supposed to be anything going on for about seven hours all right well 
that is all for this. On to the Mall of Georgia and other excitement.